So right now, it is what month? Let's start with that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the end of the month again, which means it is our favorite time. So we're doing our May favorites today and I have a bunch of items to show you guys. May has just been so insane. Like I have been pretty busy with the show, which I can't wait for you guys to see. I'm actually doing a show with Lifetime Asia and it's gonna be my own show. So yeah, I hope you guys will lend me your support when it comes out. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First thing first, I have my fresh Soy face cleanser over here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I love this to bits and I like travel with it all the time. This is the huge one, but I usually travel with like the 50ml one because it's much smaller and easier. I really like this because it's very gentle on my skin and I love the smell of it. It smells like cucumber. If you have dry and sensitive skin, this is perfect for you because it just cleans your face gently without stripping it off of its moisture and it just leaves your skin Skin really soft. I like to use this day and night but sometimes like during the night time when I wear a lot of makeup I'll use like a different cleanser but definitely in the morning I will use the soy face cleanser. Here I have another cleanser I also discovered this month. This is the Etude House Sunjang pH 6.5 whip cleanser. I think this is the very good dupe for one of my favorite cleansers which is the Feng Kou facial washing powder. So this is in a whip form it's not in a powder form but I think it's really good because it's very good for sensitive skin as well. Even though I have eczema, you know, when I use it, it doesn't tingle my skin. It doesn't make my skin feel too dry or too tight. And I like that this comes with a foam like whip pump. It's not really that travel friendly, but if you, you know, are looking for a cleanser to put in your bathroom, I think this is really good. This is one of the cult favorites. You know, I've been using the SK2 Fashion Treatment Essence for years and years and years now. And I know it's very pricey and I know it does just look like a very gimmicky product, but guys, trust me, Many, many women have been using the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence as well as all the SK2 products for many years and they all really swear by it. So I can really, really vouch for its efficacy. It's so good. Even though it just feels like water, what it does is it really helps to firm your skin, it helps to just refine it over the years. Like with skincare and with the facial treatment essence, you cannot expect like results just overnight. What I always tell people like, you know, how anti-aging or how SK2 works is when you keep using it for years and you just realize that your skin kind of maintains its youthful look while everyone around you starts to age. That is when you know the skincare really, really works. Another skincare product I have been loving is this one from ReEarth. This is the Multi-Targeted Elixir. I use it as like a booster serum. So before my serums, I use this. I just really like it because the texture of it is very, very thin. But at the same time, it's slightly sticky. So I feel that it helps my serums like just kind of adhere better to my skin. After using this for about a month right now, I have been seeing like pretty good improvements in my skin and I feel that it just helps to you know make my skincare products work better for me. Another facial mask which I have been saving for so long and so hard to show you guys in this video is the Mamond Flower Lab Essence Mask. So these masks are actually new. I tried to look for them on like Lazada and I can't really find this one in this packaging yet but I really like the hydrating one, the anti-aging one and I just think Mamon makes like really good quality masks that are not too pricey. So if you want to look for this kind of mask, right, especially Korean brands, especially Mamon, you can look out for like sales or like if you go to Korea, just please stock up on them because they are much, much cheaper. I really like it because it is just very, very effective. So it's filled with lots of essence and the mask really clings onto your face really, really well. After removing it, you know, I feel that like it really works for my skin. It's not like those kind of masks where you apply it and you just like don't really see that much results after that. Mamon's masks are really good and very very good quality and I think they are not too pricey for its quality. This is the Helio Care Pure White Radiance Max 240 and what this is is these are oral like sunblock pills. I don't know whether you can call them sunblock pills because there's also the other bottle which I didn't bring today. The other one is the orange one which is called Helio Care Sun Capsules. So that one is more of like an oral sunblock but this one is also by the same brand. It also kind of contains the 
sun protection inside but at the same time it also helps to kind of like lighten and make your skin fairer so I've been using these two pills like for all my travels especially when I'm out filming sometimes the sun can be so harsh which is why I've got so much color on me right now <laughs> like we literally film like 14 hours straight under the sun six days in a row it's just really bad for my skin so I'm really glad that I found these capsules because I just have to take two pills a day and it helps to just kind of give me the added sun protection and as a result I really didn't burn at all you guys won't imagine the whole crew they're all burnt like sunburned even with like sleeves and hats and all but as a host like I can't have all these things on me so I do have to stand out in the sun and I'm not burnt at all this contains fern block which is the ingredient that is responsible for the whole UV protection thing and it's actually a patented ingredient that is kind of developed by HelioCare themselves it helps to protect your skin from the UV rays and the HelioCare Pure White Radiance Max 240 also contains hyperpigmentation prevention properties it says to increase the skin's resistance against sunburn and redness by up to 300% the protection from fern block slows down skin aging by up to 55% through the inhibition of collagen depletion caused by UVA this one also helps to inhibit the production of melanin which is what causes us to have hyperpigmentation or like tan so this actually contains ingredients that help to kind of slow it down and block it I highly recommend it for people who are always out in the sun and who just don't have that much time to reapply your sunscreen because you're supposed to reapply it after every four hours but who has the time for that right so nope. if you don't have time for that consume these kind of pills this is the Yves Rocher gel douche concentrate mango coriander I love this shower gel guys trust me when I say that this is the best shower gel I've ever used and if you're wondering how good can shower gels get trust me you need to try this because the texture is just so luxurious it is so like creamy it's a gel body wash it just feels like really luxurious in your skin and it makes your skin feel so smooth all you need is just a little bit because this is a concentrate and it's a really small bottle that lasts really long and on top of that this scent is just oh so good so 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 good I love it every time I use it my whole house fills up with this smell and um, it's not like that kind of overly sweet artificial kind of scent but it's a really nice mango scent I also have here with me a foundation favorite this is the Kate Tokyo secret skin maker zero the base zero so I was sent this to judge for the nylon beauty heat list this year and I was like okay I've never really tried like Kate Tokyo's foundations before because I just don't know why like it just never appealed to me so I just decided to put this to the test and I really really like it you can see that the texture is quite light and liquidy you also can tell that it's very very pigmented so all you have to do is just spread it out and it will just kind of settle into like a really second skin kind of texture so if you were to use a tiny little bit of it use a buffing brush or use like a beauty blender and blend it into your skin people can't even tell that you're using foundation which I guess kind of like makes sense because it's called the base zero and the foundation is called secret skin maker zero so you can see how it instantly filled up like my fine lines on my hand it just makes it look so polished and smooth look at the difference it's actually not that much but it does still look really natural because it doesn't make your skin look very one-dimensional it dries to like a pretty velvety matte finish so sometimes I don't even need to set it with powder all right last but not least I have with me a bag favorite so this bag has been with me through like every single travel so far this is my Charles and Keith just like a nice leather backpack and I really like it because it's of a really nice size and you know when I want to carry backpacks overseas I also want them to be fashionable so that I can just match them with my outfits these kind of bags are really good for people who don't want to you know carry like a handbag which is quite impractical sometimes when you travel you want your hands free but at the same time you want to be girly you want a bag that would bring you from day to night bring you from shorts to dresses I think these kind of bags are really good I really like this I don't think you guys can get it anymore 
I don't know, but uh, I'll try my best to find something similar. I know Charles and Keith do make these kind of bags quite often, so if you're interested, you can go and check out their stores. Alright, that's it for my May favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're not subscribed, please join the fan below. Talk to you guys in the comments. See you next time. Bye!